Gel pens beloved for their vibrant colors and smooth writing experience have revolutionized the way we put pen into paper. Originating in the 1980s, the gel pen emerged as a game changer, combining the convenience of a ballpoint pen with the boldness of liquid ink. Originally developed by Sakura Color Products Corporation in Japan, gel pens quickly gained popularity worldwide, captivating writers, artists, and students with their vibrant colors and smooth, skip-free writing experience. With archival quality ink that resists fading and smudging, gel pens are not only a favorite for journaling, note-taking, and artwork, but also for official documents and legal work. Today, gel pens come in a myriad of colors, tip sizes, and designs catering to every creative whim and professional need. From classrooms to boardrooms, gel pens have left a mark on the stationary world, continuing to inspire creativity and expression with every stroke. What's going on guys? My name is Brian, also known as That Journaling Guy, and in today's video, I am here to give you guys a mini review of the Rytec gel pens. Now, full disclosure, I was sent this mini haul by Rytec themselves in order to make a video, so I decided that a review would probably best serve my community. I have the Upgel metal pens, I was sent the Twin Nib um, Upgel 0.5 gel pens and I was sent the Rytec brush pens but I mostly wanted to focus on the gel pens now the reason I want to talk about the gel pens is for the simple fact that I understand that fountain pens just aren't great for every single occasion um, I tend to use other types of pens when I'm not using a, um, a fountain pen specifically my favorite rollerball pen, the Pilot G2 Limited pen, is my everyday carry when I don't want to risk, um, like, destroying a fountain pen. This is kind of what I could throw in my backpack. I use this, and I also use the Rotoring 600 um, rollerball. So, my most of my exposure with gel pens mostly came from my Muji gel pens. I have a ton of them. I love the Muji gel pens. I just always thought they were a little uncomfortable to use, honest. Like, honestly, they, they weren't the best to carry around. They were very beautiful colors, but I tend to think that the ink of them like ran out super quickly. So a lot of the comparisons that I'm going to be making in today's video is going to be to the Muji gel pens and we'll have a little side-by-side -side comparison so you could really tell. So in this review, I kind of want to just talk about the ink flow, the tip size, like options, the grip comfort, the design and the price point. Like, is this a good value for your a bang for your buck? You know, is this something that's going to be worth having in your stationary collection? And is it something you're going to be using? Because I don't want you guys to hoard random stationary that you're not going to use. So let's let's get into it. The first thing I want you to notice about this specific gel pen is the no click technology, the silent click technology that they have. Look, I'm gonna put it up to the microphone. Okay, I'll leave this here so you can have something to look at. But I'm gonna I just want you to to hear, okay, that you can't hear. And I'll compare it to my rollerball click. Ready? So this is the rollerball. Pretty loud, right? You can hear that in the microphone. Now I'm gonna put up the gel tip or the, the gel pen. I'm clicking it too. You can't hear it. It's beautiful, it's silence, and I'm not gonna lie, the people who probably have like the little fidgety like ADHD kind of thing where they, they click, right? This isn't your pen. I'm, I'm gonna tell you straight up, this isn't meant for you, which is okay. All right, is if you if you're the type of person that nervously clicks in the office and you click 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 and people want to beat you up because you're being obnoxious, this isn't going to be the pen for you. But for everybody else that really appreciates kind of like a nice, quiet, gentle mechanism where nobody would know that you're taking secret notes because you're a detective, it's going to be the right type gel pens. Now, something else that I really enjoy about the right type pens specifically this gel pen is the ergonomics of the pen they, they really paid attention to the ergonomics and what do i mean by the ergonomics i mean that there's a little matte feeling like rubber grip at the end right it's kind of also this triangular shape i don't know if that comes across in the camera but it tends to widen up a little bit towards the grip 
boom with the little matte rubber tip on uh, grip at the end. It has a no slip kind of thing and I already told you guys, I have sweaty hands. This is the right tech gel. So for people with sweaty hands, I have been writing with this on a daily basis for about an hour or two. Um, so far, the ink hasn't run out. Thank God. As you can see, it's still very well saturated and we'll get back to that. But I haven't had any troubles um, with it like slipping out of my hands. And if you know the issues that I've had with, for example, my fountain pen, the all metal fountain pen, the Lamy Studio, um, it is a it is a pain point for people with sweaty hands. I unfortunately have sweaty hands. I'm not ashamed of it. I don't know what to tell you. It's just kind of how I was made. But I, it's very comfortable in the hand. It is lightweight, so it's really good for longer writing sessions. And in terms of the ergonomics in general, I want to say that right tech or like right tech definitely paid attention to the ergonomics. And what do I mean by that? This is the tip of a Muji pen. Do you see this? Where do I hold it? Right here, there's no real grip. That's just where the cap snaps on. Like, what are we doing, Muji? Yeah, as you can see, like it's not great for, for long writing sessions. Definitely slippery. Both made out of plastic, but it just feels like a higher quality here. It feels like there was more deliberate design. And I understand that Muji goes for the whole minimal, like, listic kind of thing that they do with all of their, their products. But I just genuinely feel that this is this is better. Now the next, I, I think this is just a cool little feature that I kind of want to point out. Look how the clip like hides away when you click it. Do you see how cool that is? I think that's really cool. Let's move on to the next color. Now really, one of the standout features that I genuinely enjoyed about the, oh my God, like I was just, uh, I'm always impressed with the smoothness of this pen. It writes amazingly. Um, one of the things that I genuinely love about this pen is the fact that the ink quality feels really high. The right tech gel pen in red. Oh. Like, look how, how nice that ink looks. Look how pigmented it looks. There's no skips anywhere in here straight from the click you know these have been sitting out for a little while but there's been no problems with them so really the one of the standout features um of these gel pens is going to be the ink quality the pen delivers like a rich pigmented line that really doesn't have any skipping or smudging this is this is the speed that you you'll you'll need look dun 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 ready ready give it two seconds Nothing, nothing, no smudge. That's really, 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 really fast dry times. Now let's go back to the Muji, try that. Let's see how the ink on this holds up. Oh, oh. So as you can see, after the same amount of time, there's just a little tiny bit of smudging on the Muji compared to the right tech no matter how many times no matter how many oils that you get on this right tech you're, you're not going to see any smudging but the more you pass your hand over the more you go over the muji the more of a mess it becomes so the ink quality is really really good i think what I, I enjoy the most about the writing experience in general with the right tech is just it's so consistent in its ink flow it's so consistent in in the saturation of the ink and how bold the lines are i can hold it any which way and i know that i can count on the same strokes to 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 listen the the writing with this pen was so effortless that i decided to start practicing um like my signature with these pens because I needed to come up with a that journaling guy signature. I, I was asked to sign something at a pen show and I was embarrassed on how ugly my, my signature was. So I used these pens because it felt so effortless um, to kind of develop what uh, I would want to have as a signature. So this is what I got so far and I used all the colors and they came out beautifully, but 
yeah, it, it really, the way it glided on the pen, and if you're wondering what paper I'm using or what notebook, this is the Rhodia book, okay, this is the Rhodia paper that they have, which works equally as well with fountain pen, so I guess it's a good indication of how the ink is going to act with this kind of paper. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the colors, this is how beautifully they turn out. I, I was genuinely excited. As you can see, I just kept writing this signature everywhere and anywhere that I possibly could. I kept practicing. It was like a flick of the wrist. It, it was just as good um, on everything. And now a point that I really want to emphasize is just that it effortlessly glides on the paper. It really, really does. It is a beautiful sensation to be writing with this pen. It's just, it allows for really precise control smooth uninterrupted writing you can just go it makes me want to write in cursive now i think honestly one of the biggest reasons that i needed a gel pen as an everyday carry is that i only have a few nibs okay uh in my fountain pen collection that allows me to write very small not only that i needed something that was going to still provide kind of a bold like stroke while still allowing me to write super teeny tiny now you're asking why do you need to write teeny tiny well because i daily plan in a hobonichi i daily plan in a hobonichi planner um in a week's planner right and these notebooks are small okay they're tiny 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 small and although this this is a find like kind of you know like size I want to be able to write smaller because I've seen these beautiful, like tiny handwriting, like pictures on Instagram and just look at like, look how small you can write, but still decipherable. And I think that that's a really important part of this. Like, look how, look how tiny that is and you can still read it. So this is really helpful for me because it means I could fit a lot more on my pages. It means that I just love the aesthetic of really tiny writing in the notebooks when it's minimalistic. It's in just in black, but it's bold. I, I love it. I, I do love it. Now, what I don't love, obviously, you already know, is lightweight pens. I'm not a fan of super lightweight pens um, in anything. Especially, like, I, I don't mind the plastic feeling of this pen. It feels durable. It feels high quality. It really feels like I can chuck it in a backpack. And genuinely, this is going to be an everyday carry pen for me. Mostly because in the nib size, I think a 0.5 is really good. But they did send me the metal version of this. Pop. The Right Tech Upgel in metal. This is a metal construction now, all right, which is going to come in black. Also, a really, really silent click. But it's going to be a little bit thicker. It's going to be a 0.7. Now, this has its whole a whole other aspect to it. Is It's the weight. It's comfortable in the hands. This feels really good. This is like, and the roundness of it makes it really easy to put it kind of in a pen loop with your traveler's journal. Click your little silent proprietary click. You go in and boom. Now, I'll be honest, I, the ergonomics aren't the best with the metal pen because I'm having the same issues that I was having with the Lamy Studio. They did kind of put a grip section. It's a little bit kind of like, in, it has little indents and like ribs on it, but I have sweaty hands. So after a while, I start running into that issue where I'm just gonna keep sliding down the pen. So I don't know how viable this is going to be for me personally in terms of longer writing sessions, which is why I'm gravitating more towards the plastic version of this, um, but still a very beautiful, durable, versatile pen in, in the metal version. So it's gonna come into a black and a white. It still has everything that you would expect from the up gel, the, the little silent plastic grip but it's gonna be round, it doesn't have that little triangular design. It's gonna be heavier. It's going to be a sleek kind of entire aluminum metal build. But yeah, it's just, it, it feels good, but I don't know if it's going to be for me for longer writing sessions. You know, in terms of value for what you get here, I think it's a really, it's really hard price to beat. You're going to find this for currently on Amazon for $11.99, but they usually retail for $15.99 on Amazon. But this, if you're going to start with a gel pen set for your journaling, I think these are super consistent, really nice, vibrant colors. The writing experience is phenomenal. The lack, like the fact that it doesn't smudge. And here, I'm going to do another little test just to give you guys an idea because I know a lot of people like to use there mild liners in their bullet journals right put that back 
it just it works really well it works really well with all the other stationery that you could possibly own right look how well that's going to write over the mild liner highlighters super well super nice and vibrant still well saturated you don't see any bleeding or feathering around the ink because it's a wetter area of the highlighter you know you see that with fountain pens where it kind of just spreads out and looks kind of fuzzy around the edges you don't get that with this i just think overall it's gonna it's it's a bang for your buck it's a solid investment right it's it's a must-have addition to any stationary collection and i think it is a winning combination of performance style and affordability you know whether you're a student an artist or a professional it's gonna deliver the promise on the quality and reliability i absolutely love the gel pens this is something that i'm going to be using every day especially in my hobonichi notebooks i think they're really good solid gel pens and must-haves for anybody just getting into the journaling hobby or if you're looking for something a little bit different and don't feel like spending that kind of money on fountain pens i'm getting just as good of a like writing experience as i would with a decent fountain pen it glides it's nice it's very beautiful well saturated ink so i highly recommend thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace